Hello, I just finished doing all my laundry, not all of it, just the, just things that were clean in the basket. And it's a good excuse because I get to watch one of my favorite shows, which is, what is it called? Million Dollar Listing New York, one of my absolute favorites. I went to New York once, four, almost 14 years ago, and I came back with oh, a little souvenir. This is my little New York souvenir. I went when I was 18. Went through a pet shop. He was in the very back corner. Six months old. Nobody wanted him. I wanted him. I bought him, brought him home. And I've been in love with New York ever since. So that's why I love Million Dollar List in New York. Anyway, today I want to film a video testing out some new makeup. It's not like anything crazy and it's it's new to my collection. So I bought this Soul Color Pop Shimmering Dry Oil, which I have been using. And I'll tell you a little bit more about it later. And then I also bought the Face and Body Bronzing Balm, which is like a cream contour. I want to see how well it compares to my Fenty Beauty, to my Huda, and see how it goes. And then I just want to reuse a bunch of new makeup that I bought that I've only like used a couple times and see if I, just see what I think. So yeah. That's what we're gonna do today. We also need to use these brushes eventually. I bought, I finally got my hands on the, wow. <laughs> Just trying to make this all work. The Makeup by Ariel and Morphe brush collection. But the way I wanna film that video is I kinda wanna find a tutorial with him using them. I looked on his Instagram, I couldn't really find anything, so I need to look on YouTube and kind of like follow along and film it that way. So I need to do that eventually. But we do have someone coming to stay with us in the next week or so, so I kind of need to pre-film some videos and then I have to pack up my makeup room and just let it be for a couple weeks and then go from there. So yeah, let's get started. Always, always, always starting with a SPF, Silken Tatcha Pore Perfecting Primer. It's just been my go-to. In fact, I'm almost out of it, but I have major backups of the Super Goop unseen sunscreen. Since we're using products that are newer to my collection, I am going to be jumping into this LYS Secure Skin Gripping Serum Primer. I don't quite know what I think about this yet. With some foundations, it works just fine. With others, it doesn't. With my Kosas Tinted Oil, ooh, it does not work with it. So I'm still on the fence about this one. It's a very liquidy. I'm just not quite sure. It balls up with some foundations. I'm gonna see how it works today. And sometimes it works just fine, but I just don't feel like I have enough experience with it. Another product that is newer to my collection is this Auric Glow Lust Radiant Luminizer, and my shade is the shade Pirate. I know that there are a lot of uses for this. First off, the packaging is absolutely stunning. Like, it just feels so substantial, so flattering, which it should because this product was like $50, I believe. It reminds me a lot of the Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I don't know if you remember those. The only difference, in my opinion, is it comes with different shades and it's um, a little more finely milled. So I will say I do like this one better, but very similar thought process that went behind it, I'd imagine. I just like to use this after my primer, but yeah. And so that just adds that like extra luminosity and that's what I've been using that for. This other product, I haven't, I think I've used it once and it's the Tarte Glow Wand, Shape Tape Glow Wand. So this is essentially supposed to, you can wear over the Shape Tape Concealer it's for a no makeup magic mixed with moisturizer, primer, and you can wear it on the high points of your face and decollete. And this shade is the shade A Gleam. I do feel like it pulls a little orange and is a little dark for me. But this came in one of the very last boxy charms that I. I've never used this little sponge. Let's see how it works. It's not concealer. I don't know why I put it on as concealer. Should I just use it as foundation today? Let's see how it goes. I don't know if I should have used it for that. It does pull so orange, but I've been using this Morphe E34 brush just to lightly spread things out a little bit. So that's what that glow wand looks like all blended out. It does feel very lightweight. I really... I mean, it says you can use it as like a lightweight, no makeup, makeup look day. I just feel like there's just a little bit discoloration where 
I didn't apply things, but that's what it looks like. So I'm gonna go in with some concealer. What's the newest concealer to my collection? Hmm, that's a hard one. Newest concealer to my collection is definitely this Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Concealer. My ultimate favorite concealer right now is the Rare Beauty Weightless Concealer. I don't know what this is. This applies so lightly, seamlessly. It brightens, but it looks so thin, and so that's why I really enjoy this. This Pro Filter one, I have, I did get too light of a shade, I will say that, but I feel like I can make it work. And this shade is a shade 150. I usually like to go for a light to medium, more on the light side shade for my concealer with a neutral undertone, but I feel like it blends out and it doesn't look super blinding. More of a light to medium coverage. I always like to put some right here just to kind of chisel out my cheekbone. So right now, in our house build, we're building a house, we are going through all the renderings for our cabinetry, and it's probably been my favorite part so far because you can envision what each room is going to look like. So I wanna share with you a couple of the renderings. This is the first batch of renderings, and we need to have a meeting and make adjustments as needed, but I thought it was really, really cool. I think one of the most challenging areas is my vanity area closet because ideally I wanted like the whole wall to be a quartz countertop and then have my vanity kind of built just by the windows and I'll have a picture right here but I lose space storage space on the corner and so it's just been a little challenging but obviously these are good challenges to have there's going to be a lot of space for makeup storage that's what the concealer looks like I feel like the base is looking pretty good it's always so different when you are out in natural light. Another product is the, well I have two. I have two newer cream um, products. This is the Jaclyn Hill Stick Blush Stick in the shade Overruled. Really pretty, I have a whole video on this. In fact, I have a whole video on a lot of these products. But usually after I film the video, I don't get quite as much of an opportunity to use them as I should. <laughs> of course, it was on the ground. So this is the Satin matte higher standard cheek blush from lys in the shade confident i'm going to use that because i've actually been using this jacqueline hill one quite a bit i'm going in with this real techniques instapop face cheek well cheek brush in fact i'm working on a video right now of all my favorite real technique brushes just because for drugstore they're considered drugstore right really good quality in my opinion i just want to do a roundup of the best ones. I like this one because it has that little bit of an angle. I'd imagine you could really use this for foundation if you wanted, but they do have one specifically made for foundation. But I just feel like this is perfect because it's synthetic hair, really makes blending out cream products a breeze. The LYS Triple Fix Translucent Setting Powder. I'm still on the fence about this. I'm not quite sure what I think about it. I'm using this small Morphe brush to just kind of pat this underneath my eyes, set that concealer a little bit, and set the rest of my face. I'm not quite sure what I think about this. I don't believe it's going to be one of my go-tos. I almost kind of feel like it's a pretty good dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury, which the Charlotte Tilbury it's nice, but I'm not completely, I don't know if it's like an everyday staple. So set down that blush because I do want to blend out my powder products on top of it. There's just so many tedious things that I'm like, do you really want to see that? I just did my eyeshadow, which I'm using a palette that is by no means new. In fact, I don't even think you can buy it anymore because it's that old. And that is the Artist and the Muse, KKW times, oh, I don't want to ruin my foundation, Makeup times Mario collab. It's just a good neutrals palette, and I've been really trying so hard to just use the palettes that I own. And so I did that off camera, and then I did my brows off camera as well. I used the Maybelline Total Temptation Brow Definer, which I'm obsessed with. It's only like $5, but my sister-in-law has been telling me that the e.l.f like $2 pencil is like where it's at. So I need to try that out. So another product that, I mean, how many times I'm gonna say it? another product that is new, another product that is newer to my collection is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wax, which I am a big, big, big fan. I have quite a bit of 
waxes and soaps and all that kind of stuff, but this one takes the cake. I just take a little spoolie and voila. I mean, there are a lot of lucky people out there that can just use this and that's it. Their brows are good to go. They're thick, luscious brows. My brows are more, like, they're very thin as far as the actual brow goes. Like, they're not, I don't have really thick hair. Like, I feel like my brows have, like, a nice shape, but it's not anything, like, I can just put this through and call it a day, which I've done before, but I do like to fill them in. So LYS, they have bronzers, all kinds of things. Yeah, that's probably what I'll use today. So I'm gonna go in with the LYS, L <laughs> LYS, <laughs> No Limits Matte Bronzer. This is the shade Harmony Medium. This actually has an Allure Best of Beauty Award, which I am having a hard time understanding because for me, I just need to keep giving it another shot, but it pulls red on me. And I'm just not quite sure what I think, but I'm also quite a stubborn person when it comes to products. And I'm like, if I bought it, I really want to use it. So I'm going in again and trying this out. And this bronzing brush is a Morphe M177. I do like to use natural haired brushes when applying bronzer. I feel like it just really gives you that seamless bronze. Because I feel like bronzer can look patchy with synthetic hairs. If there is one thing I've learned about this bronzer though is don't use it as a nose contour. Whatever you do, please do not do it. One of the shades that I really have found is a great nose contour shade is this Hourglass Bronzer. And this is the Eternal Bronze Light. It's a really good neutral undertone it just doesn't look like, look how like nice that looks contour wise. It doesn't pull orange. It doesn't pull too gray. It's almost like it's not even there. Perfect, honestly, the perfect contour shade or bronzer shade. I use this bronzer all the time. <laughs> Now, I do feel like the LYS bronzer, it just looks a little more like a blush to me. It's not giving me that dimension that I want. So I'm gonna go in with <laughs> this bronzer and just kind of, the Loverboy Powder by Jaclyn Hill. We're just gonna go in with it. We gotta give it a try, right? Little fan brush by some kind of Amazon seller. You just wanna be ever so careful with this. Ooh, really, it really is pretty. It's a little scary to use. But if you want a long lasting blush situation, what you're gonna wanna do, go in with your cream blush, set it, have a fun time with it, and then go in with a powder blush. Like that's the way to foolproof your blush 100% for the day. Last but not least is highlight. I don't even think I have a newer highlight at all. Do I? Do I not? I don't. I just, it's not something that, you know, happens very often. But the Fenty Beauty is definitely a beautiful one. This is the Kilowatt Highlighter in Girl Next Door and Chic Freak. Really pretty. And I'm just going to use that same little fan brush and create a little moment. A little splurge I had a couple months ago was in the Charlotte Tilbury Air Blush, <laughs> Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's to prep all day and prep all night, party all night, stay all day. Okay, that makes sense. And this is so new and I've barely used it. I still don't quite know what to think about it. That's great, it's not even working. I don't know, I'm gonna have to figure that out. I'd be really upset though if the component is broken. Just cause I have, like look at that, I've barely even, I think I've used it once. So I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty What It Do. Something. 
I look very orange from back here. So I'm gonna let that dry. But I've, this is one of the other newer ones to my collection as well. I, I didn't have high hopes for this, but I really, really like it. I compare it to a ColourPop or Morphe setting mist where it's not, it's really just to create that refresher, melt in your powders all together. Do you like it? Okay, so I just did my mascara. I have a couple that are new. This is the their Real Benefit Magnet Lash, which I have thoughts on this. I actually need to do a whole entire review on that. But today I'm using the Glossier Lash Slick, which I do have this one on this eye, and I don't have anything on this eye. So this is a very natural mascara. It's not made to look clumpy, thick. It just Doing lengthens that. a little bit, gives you a little bit of volume, but it really separates each individual lash. So keep that in mind. But if you're looking oh, for something... <laughs> yeah, a little more like lengthening, a little bit more clumpy, oh. but gives you a little bit more volume. Oh. What? Ow. Yes. I recommend the Maybelline uh, Sensational Sky High Mascara. This is a good one. And my makeup is done. Oh, wow. I did want to touch briefly really quick on the... Oh my gosh. Do you know what I didn't even use and I was talking about it? Wow. I cannot believe I didn't use this. This is what, this is the whole entire thing I was supposed to be using today was the soul, was the soul body. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I did, I completely spaced that. Great, just great. Which means I'm gonna, I think I'll just dedicate a single video to this one or something like that. But let's talk about this soul shimmering dry oil. So I am definitely a glitter. I like shimmering body oils. I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills oil and as well as the Patrick Ta. Now, if you compare both of these together, this one is more similar to the Anastasia Beverly Hills. But this one is like, if you don't like something super glittery, then you won't like this because it is Gl so glittery like out of this world glittery um but i really like to put this on like every day <laughs> all the time before i go work out i will put this on it just adds like a nice little sheen to the skin the most glitter you've ever seen i don't know if you can see that but it's a fraction of the cost of the other ones i mentioned it's a little bit more messy but it does end up drying down is what i've noticed but I'll have to keep you in the loop with this. Definitely a more affordable price than any of the other ones I mentioned. Thank you so much for watching this video. I know it was all over the place per usual, but I appreciate you being here. Don't forget to subscribe and yeah, I'll see you guys next one. Bye.